Hello everyone, my name is Pete and this, this is Stefan Tips. In today's video, I wanted to show you some updates about my sample builder implementation. Just to give you a context, I am doing a Swift macro called sample builder and it is capable to generate data automatically. You just need to provide a number of items you want to generate and you can generate that number for free, right? In this case, um, this is a more advanced implementation than something that I showed to you before. In this implementation right now, we have another argument in this sample builder, which is data generator. And right now it's using the default mode. What does that mean? So basically it is generating, well, it is providing for this example, uh, a property with uh, the of type string and we are getting this information from from this uh, string method that is coming from data generator Gen data generator is part of the sample builder uh, uh, framework and what i'm doing right now is just running this example and i will show you that I will generate a random number of data. Yeah, in this case, I'm generating uh, six elements, all of them saying hello world. Um, and this is because the general the data generator type in default mode is just providing you a, a basic way to uh, generate data. Uh, it is always generating the same information for you. This is good if you want to test to do a unit test, for example, and you're expecting a value. So, well, this kind of uh, generator type is useful for that. But for other kind of context, for example, if you want to create a, a, a preview for Swift UI, you can use this other type, which is random. A random, as the name suggests, generate a random string. So let's see. Right now, if you expand, you will basically get exactly mm, kind of the same data generator. Now, the difference here is that we are calling this random method and this random method is at the same time calling string. Well, now let's see how this information is generated. So as you can see, we can see uh, well, kind of a name or address or well kind of literally random data right from uh, type string this is cool but there is more you maybe want some cases random data but wouldn't be great if you can generate specific information or a specific category of strings for example we could have many different kind of strings for example emails names, addresses, something like that. So in cases you want to generate data in a more meaningful way, I'm also creating something called sample builder item. And this sample builder item will be attached to the property you want to specify the category. So for example, this category it's providing address app version so for example if you want to generate ver version 1.0.2 okay something like that company name credit card numbers emails first name etc i will use full name just as an example but even though you can let me just show you that you can even generate images on and urls yeah usernames etc so uh, but for now let me just put the, this full name here okay so now if we run this of course we are getting now a different kind of uh, parameter here called data category and it is invoking something a, a row value of full name so this is just like um, on, under the hood details but for you what you need to know is that you will generate a list of numbers, a list of uh, full names. 
if you want to generate email, for example, that this item one will be an email, you can just do that. And now, yeah, look at that. It is generating a list of emails. If you want to generate, I don't know, address, you got the idea. So you are generating that kind of information. And this information is generated from a library that I'm using in a sample builder macro. And this one here is, um, let me see here. We have here the data generator. And if we go here, you will see that I'm using something called Fakery. Fakery is a library that is uh, that allows you to generate uh, random data, depending on many uh, categories. For example, you can see right here, this repository uh, containing more information about it and the different kind of data for you. Once this is evolving, well, you will tell me what kind of categories are useful for you. So, but yeah, I will provide the list of all the categories later in the repository with more documentation about it. But now the thing I want to show you here is, of course, is this the sample builder uh, category, a sample builder item, sorry. But also I wanted to show you something that I faced during last week. And one of those things are, uh, well, is this issue that I share, that I post in uh, Swift forums, basically TLDR. Uh, it is something wrong when you are using fakery in Sample Builder. Let me, let me show you. you. So let me go here. And you will see here, well, a lot of code but this is for you just to understand, uh, well, how th is the actual implementation of this? So for example, here we are generating the strings and well, we are getting a string collection here and from many uh, different categories. And well, depending on what is the uh, category we're selecting, uh, well, we'll, we will choose one of those elements if we are selecting full name we will return faker name dot name that means we'll generate a full name if we got email we'll get email and so on if we do not generate anything we will just create a random uh, well we'll pick something from the string collection now what is the problem right now if we try to use this but instead of using this format so if we try to go here, you will see again that we are generating the data uh, or we are generating a function that will produce the data, but you are not seeing the final result or the actual string in this case until you run the code. One of my ideas was just to generate the string literal right away for you. In other cases, for example, uh, when we have a date, well, dates, there's nothing else to do. So you use have to generate the date from a date method or something. Uh, but in this case, it's, it's just straightforward or like an int, right? To just return in a, a string. The problem is that this is not something that I did it intentional. I did it because there was the only way to work with fakery. So in order to make the, the get of the, the, the string literal right away here, well, let me show you what will happen. So let's focus on full name here. Instead of uh, generating this, let me actually go to this primary library. Yeah, just please. Ignore the warnings are just reminders for me because this is not fully ready yet. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I have all these expressions right away has a string literal in the code base. Um, but instead, let me see if I can just generate uh, the string literal uh, for you. 
And now let me just hide this implementation. And instead we will generate this. And you will see this issue. Actually, let me just hide this right now. You will see something really weird saying that we got a fail in the macro sample builder, but there is no more information about it. And that was the issue I just showed to you in the forum uh, earlier. So digging a little bit more, it was like, why this problem is happening? As you saw earlier, the fakery library is working as expected and producing the, the output. But this is what I learned. So let me go back here. And if I, if I want to generate something, let's say, for example, instead of generator string, I will use, um, hola. If I compile this, we'll succeed. And you will see right away here that the macro will expand the string hola. So then that means something is wrong with the generator string from fakery, right? What is the issue? Well, it turns out that if we go to fakery, if we go here, here, and maybe here, I will not show you the whole implementation of fakery, but I will show to you that this implementation is, uh, uh, there we go. It is reading data from a file and the files, what are those files? They are from here, from this uh, JSON uh, file that is uh, getting the addresses or the countries, or I don't know if I, if I type uh, name, there you go. Yeah, names, uh, or even more emails. So yeah, th all the information that you saw earlier about all the categories are is is uh, get from this file and the problem is that you are not allowed to read or write or do something with files in a swift macro was one of the rules that you should not forget the problem with the macro is that the macro is not providing that information for you i had to figure that out and also, I would like to uh, thank uh, this person here, uh, John Scott, that helped me to figure that out, uh, just uh, debugging uh, the project or a piece of the uh, of the issue that I had. So, in summary, the problem with this fakery library is not the library. It's the problem is that the fakery library is reading information from a file and that is not allowed in a swift macro so the question here is what would you prefer and this is important because you will be the user of this uh, macro so would you prefer something oh let me let me go here so right now we are, uh, I don't know, generating data. Uh, well, my, my idea was just to regenerate data like this. Yep. Where you will be able to see the literal value for those cases like ints or strings right away without compiling your code. However, as you saw earlier, if I want to use fakery library, I need mandatory to transform this string literal into a data generator random or get that information from a function. So the question is, do you prefer that or do you prefer uh, the string literals? If that's, if you choose the second, 
then probably I will not be able to use fakery, but instead I can generate uh, my fake data. Uh, maybe just grabbing a few of the uh, fakery uh, values generated, but uh, instead of reading a, um, a file, I will put them in memory or something like that. I don't know, but I will let you hear your feedback about it. And well, at the end, tell me, what do you think? What you have seen so far? It is good for you? Let me know in your comments, in the comments below. What do you think? If you prefer the data generator method and run and figure out what is the spec or the output at runtime, or do you prefer to see the code generated has a literal right away in the code? It's something that definitely will help me to move forward. That's about it, guys. So, well, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe if this video was useful, useful for you. Thank you so much and have a great day.